What's up, Internet? It's Cars and Coffee Dave here, and welcome to your Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. We are coming at you live from 633 Fraser Drive in Franklin, Tennessee, and it's a beautiful day out. If you are nearby the area and uh, you're waking up a little early, I highly recommend that you jump in your ride, you come down here, and you have some fun with us. Uh, welcome to the AAA live stream, and we're going to go do it live, see what we can see here at Nashville Cars and Coffee. And the question du jour, or the question of the day, for those that don't speak French, is will there be a C8 Corvette here? Well, stay tuned and we'll find out. It's Nashville, it's Cars and Coffee, you never know what's going to happen. So let's flip this camera around. And let's go look. Hey, John, you want to take off? All right, so uh, you might notice I'm shooting from a slightly different uh, vantage point today. And uh, it's a good one. We are on a golf cart, an electric golf cart from uh, NPS, Nashville Power Sports. And, and uh, we are going to, uh, you know, hopefully be able to navigate this crowd. We have uh, tried this before on days when it wasn't as crowded. And, uh, and we'll see what we get today. If I have to bail and go on foot, I absolutely will. Uh, so frame center right now, we've got a beautiful uh, Aston Martin. Uh, and uh, I know Chevy calls that color shock. Uh, not sure what Aston Martin's calling theirs, but same color, very bright, highlighter, yellow. It'll get your attention. We've got, an, uh, let's see, a V10 R8 here. Got a 430, absolutely beautiful here on the AAA live stream this morning. This is a 1970 AAR. Um, you guys don't have to move. Uh, Plymouth Cuda. And uh, they did not make a lot of these. I was told that they only produced these for five weeks. So that is a very, very rare bird indeed. Take a look at that for you look takers out there. And then we've got a lot of classics out today. Uh, we've got this RS Jaguar. Very, very nice. Aventador. This guy shows up frequently. He also has the Urus um, from Lambo, and uh, we are very happy to have him out here. We will go take a look at that in depth later. And remember, guys, if you like what you see on the AAA live stream, give us a share, comment on our content. I am here for you, and uh, I want to bring you the content that you guys want to see. It's beautiful 996, I believe, right there. Um, oh, we got a guy parking in front of us. So there's a brace of uh, of, of uh, Audi R8s here. That one's parking. There's another one behind it. And then uh, got another nice Lamborghini right there in front. All right, you want to keep rolling? So you can just bear slightly left here and we'll go down this after uh, they park, I guess. All right, so I am having to uh, maintain good control of this golf cart. Look at all the people here today. What's up, guys? Oh, totally ignoring me, per usual. Uh, it, it does start to feel like a carnival out here. It feels like in the last 20 or 30 minutes, uh, the population has doubled. And uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of families out here, a lot of car guys. We have pets. We have absolutely everything that you would want in a car show. So uh, come on down, like I said, 633 Fraser Drive. Come catch car, Cars and Coffee Dave doing the uh, AAA live stream here. That beautiful. I believe that's a 240 right there. Very nice looking. So yeah, there is no shortage of cars to be seen today. And uh, like I said, who knows if we'll see a CA Corvette at not or not. Um, plenty of stuff. Ooh, nice classic Chevy truck. Look at that. Pinstriping on the hood. Very nice. Now I kind of like the like doing this drive-by thing that we've got going on. It's uh, it's a good way to cover the event. It saves a lot of time. We get to see some uh, content that sometimes I miss. I can't see everything, but having this bird, bird's eye view definitely helps. Good looking E46 M3 right there. Carbon fiber accents, carbon fiber grill, and no shortage of M stripes on that one. And what do we got here? 
Mustang, the big Whipple on it, or saline supercharger. Josh Vaughn, I wish you could be here too, my friend. Uh, good seeing you when I saw you last. Always some cool car stuff. Josh Vaughn actually just had his uh, photography uh, highlighted on the Porsche website. So congratulations to Josh for that. That is a big step for any photographer uh, working at a very, very high level and making some incredible art um, with his photography. So uh, I think John's gonna take us to the Mule Town Mobile Dyno real quick and we're gonna see what we can find over there. Do what? <laughs> so escorting me today is uh, John Kamler from Axis Power Racing. We're gonna give him a close up here in just a minute, but wanted to introduce him and let, uh, let y'all know of that fact. John makes custom carbon fiber parts uh, for a variety of applications. Um, he can literally make carbon fiber anything. If you have been to the National Cars and Coffee tent, uh, maybe you've seen some of his products. He can make musical instruments. He makes a lot of parts. Hey, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Thanks for being out here today. Yes, it is. It's a great time. Uh, head on down to the dyno. Let's see what we can see there. Uh, John makes a wide variety of carbon fiber parts for uh, for racing applications. So if you're looking uh, for any custom carbon fiber work, he can do everything from a simple chin spoiler or splitter to uh, fenders, hoods, and you know a complete chassis if you wanted that too. So uh, reach on out to us, and we'll get you in contact with John if you have anything like that uh, and your needs for the future, and uh, we'll be happy to put you all together. So it looks like we've got a Miata on the dyno right now. This is Keith from Mule Town Mobile Dyno doing his thing. Uh, Keith travels all around Middle Tennessee in the South, the Midwest, um, taking taking uh, this beautiful truck that he custom designed and made uh, on the road to events, uh, drag races, uh, autocross, and, and uh, basically any other automotive event that you would want to go to. Oh, it looks like we've got the, uh, the back lot full today. That's something I always try to capture. But right now I'm capture capturing this beautiful uh, Ford RS. And that, I don't know, I should know what color blue that is. Monaco blue. Monaco blue? Hey, John, you're handy, dude. Um, yeah, 6.6 .6 liter Firebird Trans Am right there, frame center. And then, uh, looks like a Chevelle. All right, so why don't we hang a left here, John? And uh, we will, oh, hey, uh, why don't we stop here for a second? All right, guys, so this is a car that, um, if you've come out to Nashville Cars and Coffee, you've seen uh, more than once. Uh, this is a wide body Supra, right hand drive, and it's, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's very, very hard to miss this car. Uh, if you have eyes, you can see it. And look at that wing, man. Look at that. There's some serious stuff going on back here. Got wide tires, upgraded brakes, and then uh, obviously carbon fiber accents and graphics to go. So definitely wanted to give you guys a little close up of this right here. Nice. Talk about deep dish like Chicago deep dish pizza status. Then we'll peek in through the side here. We've got uh, your obligatory boost gauges. And then it looks like we might have some more gauges down here in the uh, what formerly housed an airbag. But this guy's got a fire extinguisher in here too. So safety first, that's something that we love to see here. And uh, we're gonna continue uh, to the left and basically see what else there is to see at Nashville Cars and Coffee. So guys, uh, I know a lot of you uh, watch from the event. So if you see me and you want to say hello, talk about your car, give me a uh... <laughs> thank you, jo uh, Triple J Jones. Uh, it's actually what I'm famous for. Um, I see a lot and uh, I don't always get them right. And that's part of the fun because this is a journey of automotive discovery and you are along for the ride. Nothing you can do about it. Uh, let's see here. 
Got an old E24 right there. So traffic is getting kind of intense at the moment. Some more Monaco blue uh, RSs over there. Right around there if you see them. And then what do we have over here to the right? Whoa, we've got a couple Impalas. I was driving down 65 this morning and saw not one, but two. And I don't think it was either of these two. So I think there's gonna be about four or more here. All right, sports fans. Uh, thank you for bearing with us through the technical difficulties. Um, it's always fun when you're doing a live broadcast because you never know what's gonna get in the way. But we are back and uh, we will go ahead and I guess merge those videos later on. But uh, yeah, it is a fun, fun day out here today. There is no shortage of uh, cool cars to see, like this one right here. Very loud. There's so much diversity here. There's the stuff that's built in your garage or in a barn. We are in Nashville. Uh, there's also the stuff that comes from the factory. There's obviously a lot of high-end cars here uh, over on Supercar Row surprising number of uh, import automobiles. I know the British Car Club is here today and they are representing with, uh, with a, a big showing, a big showing of a lot of different cars. So uh, we're gonna keep on rolling here. Now don't forget, this is your broadcast. So if you guys have a specific car that you wanna see, just let me know and I can try to keep my eyes out for it. If not, that's okay. I will uh, find some cool stuff for you guys anyway. The Slingshot Brigade is here. I've seen at least five or six Slingshots out uh, here in the last couple minutes cruising around. And uh, what else have I seen? I have for sure seen a, uh, I believe it was an early Mustang uh, 500 King of the Road. Not sure if that was original. Not sure if that's a replica, but I would love, definitely like to go find out. Ooh. Twin turbo caddy. Something you don't see every day. Uh, Audi Club of Nashville. We will definitely be heading that direction. That is no problem. <laughs> hey, what's up? Fantastic day out here. Yes, it is. Thanks for being here. Look at that. Is that a little Jägermeister? Yes, it is. Jägermeister logo on uh, on this Porsche right here. Wow, and then this Corvette is flaming. That is a serious flame paint job. And then look at that side exhaust. That will burn the heck out of your ankles. A lot of uh, people out here today. Hey John, let's uh, hang a right. Hey, how you doing? That was uh, Daniel doing a flyby. I'm surprised he's not at the golf course. And, uh, okay, so John, why don't we post up right here so I can jump off and, and I will be back. All right, got an MG, the Jaguars, Minis, uh, Triumph, there's an Alpha, Rolls. Another early Aston Martin. <laughs> Look at that. It's like old and new next to each other right there. I like that. And that's quite a look right there. But yeah, the British Car Club is definitely out in force today. And ooh, what is this? What is this? Austin Healey. Take a look at this interior. Very nice. Very, very, oh man, it smells good. I love it when you get close to something and you just are overwhelmed at the smell of leather. Oh, okay, so this is uh, what I saw earlier. Mustang 500, King of the Road. Do we have any information here? What is this? 68, Shelby two-door fastback. 
Hmm. Very interesting. So have to do the post game wrap up and spend some time looking at that. I know you all want to see the latest and greatest and bam, bam, bam. But this is cool. This is a very good looking car. <coughs> Look at that interior. Very nice. Excuse me. So you never know what you're going to see on the AAA live stream. And uh, there's no shortage of awesome cars here today. Music City Miata Club is out strong like they always are. And then uh, I guess I'm going to jump up here and continue our tour of Nashville Cars and Coffee. Uh, John, why don't we go straight? Why don't we go straight for like uh, three or four rows and then hang a right and then we'll just go up and down them. So yeah, we're gonna put this golf cart to good use so we can uh, cover as much of the event as possible. And like I was saying earlier, if uh, for you weirdos that watch at the event, if you see me driving by, give me a shout. Say hello, we'll come talk to you about your car. If any of you guys like do it yourself, let us know. Uh, love to hear some stories about what you do with your car, how you work on it where you work on it and what you've done. That is a bad CTS. No, that's not as, yes it is. <laughs> okay, well. You do never know what you're gonna see at Natural Cars and Coffee and that's a great example. I believe Indiana Jones uh, drove that through Austria in 1984. <laughs> All right, so let's hang it right here and see what we can find. So, uh, as you guys saw earlier, um, there is there is just so many. So there are so many cars here. The back lot was full. Um, I've often spoke of the back meet, the secret meet. And I've only captured it, I believe, once before, but it's for sure going on today. And you can see that we are many, many, many rows away from our main tent. And there are still uh, just tons of modified cars here today. And we're going to take a look at the Subaru Club. Lena Miller, hubby and center there, love the old Mercedes. Me too. No shortage of uh, classic vehicles here. Ooh. Got a very modified uh, Camaro from City Auto of Murfreesboro. And uh, <laughs> is that a Batmobile? Uh, all right, let's uh, do a hard right and a hard right, John. Yeah, I, I love it when I say something and moments later uh, I'm provided videographic evidence of it. Um, you saw that 1982 BMW side-by-side -side motorcycle that we just drove by and uh, we're gonna show you something else that you will not see every day. <laughs> yeah, we've had theme cars on here before and uh, hold here so we can check this out. Uh, Alex Crump, any Supras yet? Um, in, in the, we had a little technical glitch there, so I had to split up the, uh, the broadcast. Uh, my iPhone would not get out of sideways mode. But, um, yeah, we saw that wide, wide body Supra. And then, uh, as far as new Supras, no, but you never know. And we could find out, uh, over the course of this live stream. So uh, share the AAA live stream with your friends. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. If you don't know Cars and Coffee Dave, also has a Facebook and Instagram. I'd invite you to follow that and like that as well. Um, I mean, this is definitely something you don't see every day. Uh, I don't know when I saw a Batman uh, replica Corvette with uh, obligatory afterburners and crazy intake, but here it is. And, oh wow, what the? Okay, well, this is going to take more than a couple seconds to digest and, uh, and take apart, but um, 
Man, okay, so I'm gonna flip around and get a close up of that. Is this yours? Yeah. So what is the story behind this? 78 Corvette. Read the details on it. 1989 Batmobile engine fuel torque and speed. Wait, 1750? 1750 foot pounds of torque? Yeah. Obviously this is just for fun. I like the top speed on it. You read the top speed? No. Top speed, 330 miles an hour. <laughs> well, I would, uh... So what is the story behind this car? Why do you have it? Uh, my wife, uh, did, uh, did, uh, uh, I said, oh, look, I need a uh, Batmobile. And she said, absolutely, positively not. So I went out and bought it. <laughs> She's hated it ever since. So how long have you had this? Uh, about five years. Five years? Yeah. How many owners has it seen? Uh, just two. Just two? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I bought it from uh, it was a real Batman enthusiast. He rebuilt the engine in it and it the interior. He had five Batman mannequins that went along with it. <laughs> really? Yeah. And uh, when I bought it, I didn't bother to tell uh, the guy, uh, I'm a Renaissance guy, so I didn't bother to tell him I lived in the castle. And uh, when I went to pick the car up, the little son was there and the man that went with me had a Renaissance t shirt on. And he says, What's the deal with the uh, castle? I said, Well, you know, he lives in the castle, don't you? And the little kid says, No. You're the real Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, that makes you Batman. I said, no, no, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man, thank you very much for bringing this out. It is definitely not something that you see every day. It's the one, it's the one up you go online. Uh, uh, put Batman, Batmobile Corvette. It's the very first one that pops up. All right, so Google Batmobile Corvette, and you will, you will see something very unique. And uh, thank you very much for coming out today. I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, guys, definitely something that you do not see every day. And then we're going we're gonna to head out with a look at this front before we uh, continue on our merry way. Okay, so we've got a uh, 300 and a C7 Vet in matching uh, camouflage liveries there. Hmm, I wonder if they coordinate. Bet they wear the same shoes, too. Just a joke, just a joke. And then what else do we got here? Um, no, we got cars parking. We've got people meandering about, enjoying their day. And you know what? Let me just invite you guys one more time. 633 Fraser Drive, Cool Springs, Tennessee. Uh, I believe it's exit 68B or 65B, but just uh, tell your iPhone where you want to go, and it'll get you here. So uh, it looks like we're coming up to Nashville Audi Club. Uh, no, they're going to be over one more. But oh, there it is, an SQ5 next to an S4. <laughs> Let's see here. And yes, I would be remiss if I did not mention we are riding on a Nashville Power Sports customized golf cart. Um, cart's been upgraded with new suspension, new battery, new paint job, uh, available with high-end carbon fiber roofs if you're interested in that type of thing. And uh, it's actually a really, really good looking car, or golf cart, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, if you're interested in one, go contact National Power Sports based out of Columbia. And uh, I'll show you guys one of those here briefly. Ooh, classic Mustang and classic Corvette right next to each other. Hard not to enjoy that. Ooh, we got a demon. Hey, how are you? All right, I know that guy. I just don't know where I know him from. Hey, turn left here. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. If you see anything that uh, piques your interest and you would like to see more of in some detail, just shout it out there. Let your fingers do the talking. Say, hey, Dave, go check out XYZ or ABC or whatever the car has to be. That, I believe it's, I don't know the name of the green, but it's like a forest green S4. Every time I see it, I like it. Got an RS5. I've had that color. Sorry, I don't know the name of it. 
Somebody told me, like, I forgot what it was, though. RS3, right there, that beautiful uh, quilted interior. Custom work done in that Audi, for sure. I, I like that flag, too, and the wrap. That's interesting. Hey, will you hold up? Is this yours? Uh, that's his. That's his? Me? This one or that one? This one. Oh, no, it happened again. <laughs> Mark. Mark. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I'm having technical difficulties here. Uh, I am just going to have to unplug this. Every time I jump off the uh, golf cart, it, uh, no, you're okay, man. All right, well, we're gonna shoot like this for a second. Okay, well, I hate to do it to you guys again, guys, but the only way I know to fix this is to quit and then to uh, start all over. So hold on, everyone come back in just a second. I'll fix this for you briefly. All right, guys, it's Carson Coffee Dave, and we're back. I do apologize for these uh, technical glitches we're having today. Every time I jump off that golf cart, uh, it, for some reason, it's knocking it out of balance, and then it's giving you that weird uh, image. So uh, thank you again for bearing with us today. Um, what's your name? Uh, I'm Reiner. Hi, Reiner. Hey. Uh, I'm Dave, and uh, thank you for bringing this out. What is this, and what have you done to it? Uh, it's just a 2008 A4, Audi A4. Uh, it's K4, it's tuned on HP tuners by uh, the guys over at Fifth Gear. Um, so what's going on up here is my question, because that looks like a billet piece, right? Yeah, just a billet valve cover, so it's got a custom catch cam set up going uh, on everything, back in the turbo and all that. Uh, cold air intake, exhaust, uh, injectors, so it's basically like a CH2, CH2 plus tune. Okay, and uh, did you do any of this yourself, or did you get yeah, it like this? Myself. You did all of this yourself? Everything's myself. Suspension, uh, wheels, uh, you work in your garage or you take it to a shop? Uh, I usually just work out in my garage. I used to do it in a parking lot too. So. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, people can, uh, it, it's surprising. I mean, as long as you've got a tree with a little shade and you've got your tools, you know, you can work out in an open field if you need to. That's exactly it. So, and, and how long did it take you to get it to this point? Uh, so I bought the car in October of 2017. So it's just been little, little bits here and there. Cool, so, cool. Like year and a half, so two years, I guess now. Now, are you good on oil changes? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Every 3,000 miles? Uh, it's about every, I do it about every 5,000. Every, that, well, that's good, too. I mean, 3,000 is a little, a little impossible. It's a lofty goal, for sure. Yeah, I drive back and forth, forth to Florida quite often, so it's more often. Than yeah, often. no, those miles will rack up real quick, won't they? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Rainer, hey, I appreciate your time today, and thank you for being out here at Nashville Cars and Coffee, and we'll see you next time, man. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is the man, John Kamler. He's been escorting me today with Axis Power Racing. John, what exactly do you do? Well, I build and manufacture ancillary components for uh, motorsports, ranging from any kind of weight savings component, aerodynamic component, custom made. Um, you do a lot of stuff for Vipers, for BMWs, Vipers, BMWs Porsche. We make every component for a Mazda Miata we make the whole exterior yeah the there's I mean Mu Music City Miata Club's right over there and they can tell you how, how much racing they do uh, the MX-5 is actually one of the most popular racers out there because it's cheap it's light easy to modify and if you wreck it you aren't going to be too sad about it and we've had the very first Miata in the country in 89 that was always been a race car really so and it was the very very first one very so cool we've been doing Miata racing for So if uh, if somebody wants to uh, basically get in contact you for some carbon fiber parts, they can come to our website and click on the uh, the carbon fiber section of it. And John, unfortunately, every time I jump off this, it's messing with the camera. So I'm gonna go uh, and meander about on foot, but I thank you very much for the ride and uh, we will see you back at the tent. See you back at the tent. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so uh, there is a S5 that was just uh, rudely revving at us to get out of the way. 
which you can always just come up and say, hey, get out of the way. It's much easier, much easier way to, uh, to communicate. All right. What is this little thing? And I do apologize for all of the uh, start and stops here today. Uh, I definitely don't want to broadcast the wrong way, but got to do what you got to do. Uh, new green BMW M5 on the way, one of only two in the world with that paint color. Well, Rich Wine, when you uh, when that is, gets here, please let me know, and I will definitely uh, come check that out. We're all about rarity here. Brent Reed, vroom vroom, indeed, sir. Yeah, they need base shopping. Nice, nice. So yeah, uh, I was mentioning the imports that we have here earlier. And here's just another beautiful example. Oh, here we go. All right, and uh, again, I mentioned these, the slingshots. Lots of slingshots. Um, that's cool if, if those are real, those uh, intakes right there, but could be just for show. Now, right here in the middle, I believe this one has the active, um, I, I don't, it's a fancy word that I can't think of right now, but it basically means you apply electricity to this paint and it lights up. Um, it'll come to me, but uh, I've seen a, a bunch of these slingshots around. It's good to see them all working together, being organized. Uh, there's, there's so many organized car clubs here in Nashville. These guys with your, their unique open air three wheel concepts of the slingshots are uh, are a welcome addition to cars and coffee and uh, just like the motorcycles are no shortage of motorcycles I'm gonna wander over here because uh, you know, most of us that have an affinity for things with four wheels that go fast enjoy things that are on two wheels that go fast as well. Now, uh, Triple J Jones, wherever you're at, I'm not even going to try with any of these because, let's be honest, I know when I'm out of my depth. Despite what I uh, may say on camera. But uh, yeah, I just want to, I wanted to come over here just to show you guys. We are about so much more than, than cars. Another uh, three-wheeler. Okay, well this feels more natural. Oh, I just realized I left my water on the golf cart. Let's see here. So we did that row. We did this row. Look at this Mach 1 Mustang. 1969. Via the license plate, there's a small wing dinosaur. I believe that's a dragon uh, in English. Wow, this interior is very well kept. Uh, definitely not original little resto mod but you know what it looks really good it looks really really good oh and look at this we got some toyotas all lined up here uh, i think i saw an fj40 with a bed on it uh someone converted it with a bed oh yeah thank you that guy knows what's up are your replies back no they're motor he's got the It's like we got a station wagon here with a big engine in it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it. That wasn't factory. So thank you guys for watching the AAA live stream. Appreciate you uh, being here with us and bearing through the variety of technical difficulties that have arisen today. 
You know, it's not too late. It's uh, 9-11 right now. <laughs> and that's not a car, that's the time. Check this out. So these two were sitting next to each other moments ago. And it uh, looks like they're leaving together. I really like that. Uh, you can see the evolution of a, one company's design philosophy over time. I mean, that's gotta be at least 50 or 60 years right there. And uh, you can still see the similarities. And those colors are almost identical, which is probably the craziest thing. And again, guys, on the AAA live stream, you can request whatever you want. If you see a cool car that you want some more information on, you want me to do a deep dive, I will either make some stuff up or talk to the owner. Preferably the former. Yes, I do. And then again, something you don't see every day. Uh, that's either going by itself or... <laughs> you never know. You never know what you're gonna see here. Paint matched interior on the dash. Nice cloth seats. Which on a day like today, I would totally understand. It is getting a little, it's getting a little humid out, not gonna lie. All right, what do we have here? Okay, well, that's, that's something you don't see every day. Give me a share for this uh, dual axle Jeep. That, uh, wow, you really don't see that every day. Look at that. Very long, very, very long. What is this? Auto collection. So started its life as a Rubicon went under the knife at some point for a while going to take a look at the front definitely something you don't see every day I'm going to go take a close up of this I wonder what all they did to get it like this, but that is definitely not something you see every day. I uh, wonder if there's anyone to talk to about this Jeep. Doesn't really seem like it. Uh, Rob Dam there? I wish I knew what that meant. What is this? Well, that is a big Whipple charger. You're good. Look at that. That is a, that's like a, what, a 10 rib? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's like a 10 rib belt. Stormtrooper. So I've seen some other Stormtroopers out here before. Uh, they were not a uh, modified Hellcat. What do these names say? Billet Technologies, Casper Racing. All right, a lot of branding going on under the hood. Uh, okay, so this is another car from Auto Collection of Murfreesboro. All right, well, news to me. But uh, let's take a look at the inside. Simple, tasteful, lots of power. Back seat. And what do we have here? Oh, really? It was like four wheel drive? No, it's, it's a four wheel drive, but. Uh, it's, uh, I believe this is a Huracan Especial. Spider. What is this? I don't know. Where's, where's Triple J Jones when I need him? What is that?
Uh, Rob is building a 6x6 with an elephant engine. Well, that would be cool to see. I would not mind seeing a 6x6 with an elephant engine. All right, guys, so let's just take a second and uh, kind of evaluate where we are. Uh, it's about 9.15. We've got the Bridgestone uh, mobile tire changing van out here. And you guys can see they're doing their stuff, changing some tires, doing it live. Uh, right there under that shady location with that pop-out awning on that truck, which I did not know until right now they even had. And they also have lights there, so that's a really cool setup. But uh, yeah, guys, I just kind of want to give you an idea of the number of people here. And uh, it is not too late for you guys to come out to 633 Fraser Drive in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, we will be here broadcasting on the AAA live stream for at least another 20 or 30 minutes. And, uh, and you know what? I'm seeing some activity in Supercar Row that we might be interested in. But really, I'm just fascinated by this truck right here. It's really cool that they can do all this. And obviously, he's got a... Uh, they're filling air in it too. So everything that you would need to fix your car, change a tire, right there in one nice, easy to reach location. Oh, and that AAR Cuda is awake and on his way out. All right, so I'm going to come back down here to the beginning of Supercar Row and just do another flyby of it to see what has showed up. Somebody left their hood on their Jaguar open. So we'll take a gander, because we're gander takers. Shout out to Andrew Allen right there. A lot of uh, R8s here today. Julia. Man, this, this shot color is just very, very popular uh, all of a sudden. It's kind of one of those things that you you never... What up? Link up. Link up? Link up. <laughs> what does that How mean? How many viewers you got? Uh, I, I don't know. A couple thousand by the end of the day. Link up. I wish I knew what that meant, man. Link up your hey, Instagram Mar account. Mar, hey, Amar of Zar. <laughs> all right. Hey, Thanks Mar, for being here, guys. All right. Crazy kids. Whatever link up means. I guess I'm old now. I am 34, so I, uh, I'm definitely out of my cool phase. Um, I've just, I've got to run over here for a second and grab one of these waters. Whew. <laughs> so something just shot out of that uh, truck right there. Not sure if you all saw it. Okay, well, uh, you can smell that guy. Oh, water is good. Cold water is divine. Uh, did you find a C8 yet? Uh, not yet, Chris, but you never know. And I'm not going to give up yet. And uh, another Huracan. 
This one in an orange shade. Definitely no shortage of horsepower out here today. We've got a pair of BMW i8s, one in black, one in blue. Uh, Joseph, uh, C8 spotted in Bowling Green. No doubt about that one, sir. That is where they make them. And um, we were actually fortunate enough to capture one. We captured a convertible test mule when the guys were up there uh, just a few days ago. So go check out the page if you want to see that. Good looking turbocharged Buick here. If uh, you didn't know better, you would think that this was made yesterday. Uh, incredibly clean. No, no oil, no dirt. Very well taken care of. Like a lot of cars out here. And then you come inside and it's more of the same. Man, it's amazing how, how fast and how far cars have come in the last 30 or 40 years. But that is a good looking Grand National and we're happy to have it out here. This uh, Corrado, we've uh, seen multiple times, owned by a Bridgestone employee, and uh, very good looking car. This guy's done a lot of work. This is a custom engine, lots of dollars right here. And uh, he loves to drive it, and he brings it out, and we appreciate it. Uh, let's see, I've got some messages here. Uh, C8 and Bowling Green. How long is it going till? Uh, we are going to, we usually go till 10.30. Uh, realistically, people will hang out till they get hot and sweaty and then they want to leave, which is totally understandable. There's a lot to do here in Franklin. You know, you can go see some historic Civil War sites. There's a lot of shopping. There's good restaurants. So really, you know, this is more than just coming to a car show. This is a lifestyle event. You can come down here, show off your car, then go to lunch, catch a movie at the AMC 20 Theater, which this event takes place in, and uh, otherwise, enjoy your Saturday. <laughs> Henry, when are we gonna start a burnout contest? Uh, that'll be uh, just after never, so. <laughs> uh. mm. Okay, guys. You're going to have to indulge me for a second. Uh, this is a, a blue E30 convertible. Don't see a lot of these. Uh, I'm, that's got to be an aftermarket color because I don't think they had that much flake in them. But uh, very good looking nonetheless. And my indulgence is now over. Got a Bel Air. Got our friends from Street Side. Classics out today. And then we've got Nashville Power Sports. So we had there they brought out three golf carts today. Uh, these two are not as fancy as the one I was riding around in. The one I was seeing was uh, orange, had a similar wheel, similar suspension. But uh, yeah, these are really nice carts, guys. And here's exactly what they do, just so y'all can get an idea. And if you're interested in a if you guys are interested in a custom golf cart, give Nashville Power Sports a call. Visit their website. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe you guys can figure it out. And then uh, I heard the sound of our collective people here being sun. And uh, we're going to see what's going on. Ooh, 3000 GT. Cool car from the 90s. And we're going to, man, just look at this. Look at how many people are here. Sorry to point you into the sun there, but, uh, 
I mean, it is an absolute circus out here. And uh, got a lot of traffic going on. A lot of do-it-yourselfers, a lot of car clubs. We've got families, we've got pets. I swear I have seen a cat on a leash out here. That is not an exaggeration, that is not a joke. So, if, you're, uh, if your feline is outdoor friendly and wouldn't mind the noise of a few million horsepower, no, not millions, but hundreds of thousands of horsepower, feel free to bring them out. We have a ton of dogs out here all the time. Uh, there's actually one laying down right there behind that guy. And I'm sure that doggie's just the tip of the iceberg. Ooh, an El Camino. Don't see a lot of those. Uh, yeah, so no burnout contest. Uh, Eric, Sean started driving to be there and hit two hour traffic on I-40, dead stop, turned around. Sorry to hear that, man. I came out here and 24 East was closed, so I had to go the long way too. Uh, wish we could, I wish they would tell us, you know, ahead of time when stuff was closed. I'm sure they do, but I just don't know where to look. Uh, VR4, WS6, good morning, wish I was there today. Had a schedule conflict. Well, Scott, we hope to see you next time as well. Uh, Corvette homecoming in Bowling Green. And all. I don't know, that's a good question. Reach out to the page with that in, uh, we can get an answer for you. Look at that Mustang. Oh, so this is the Mustang and Corvette pair that I saw moments ago. Man, that was really nice. That'll take you back to a time that I never lived in. All right, guys, I'm having fun. I don't know about you. There's a lot, a lot of content here like this Rolls Royce that will hopefully not run me over. Uh, I believe that's Phoenix or Austin, I, I forget. Now I, I did see something down here that kind of caught my eye that I wanted to uh, to hone in on. I haven't give uh, Porsche guys much love in the last hour since we started, but I believe this is 911 Turbo down here. Yes. And, uh... See those yellow gauges? Six speed. Paint mesh interior. You've got the cage. You've got the uh, five point there in the seats. So, uh, yeah. Very, very nice. 911 Turbo. And uh, lucky for you guys, it's for sale. So, if you are looking for a 911 Turbo, I'm going to do Steve a favor here. And uh, go ahead and call Steve if you're looking for a beautiful yellow 911. All right. So I'm just kind of out here in a parking lot now. This seems to be where all the BMWs that I like are hanging out. Uh, what else we got here in the AAA live stream? Oh, nice. This guy's being creative, selling tires out of the back of his Jeep. And uh, someone was mentioning Supras earlier. Uh, we've seen some older Supras. No new ones yet. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna go there. Ooh, Monte Carlo SS. Love the uh, stripes on this one. Very, very nice. Can I see what's on the dyno? Uh, there is nothing on the dyno right now. I'm looking at it and it is wide open. So now would be a good time to put your car up on the dyno if you're here. Head on over and see Keith from Mule Town Mobile Dyno. There's a Targa. 
So I go from not seeing any 911s to two in a minute. Nice bird. Oh, and then here's a white one. Oh, and then we got... Is this yours? Yes, sir. How long you had it? No. no. Oh, it's no. not? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I misheard you. But it is an ESS supercharged E90 uh, M3, and uh, that's good for... Come on, at least 600 probably more depending on what he's done looks like he's got a little intake work done there too nice little blow off valve there in the side beautiful gray color oh we've got some upgraded seats and we got some glare Wow, look at this thing. Look at this thing. This thing couldn't get much lower. I mean, really. I mean, this is lower than an R8 almost. Except you're on a bench seat instead of a sport seat. And there you can see his uh, ride height control. So we got black one here, white one on the left, red one on the right. I'm sure that's the, the colors of a flag of some country. I just don't know what it is off the top of my head. Is that like Germany? No, Germany's got yellow in it. Germany's like black, yellow, red. Look at that. That is a big air tank. And a touch of evil. Take your word for it. Uh, man after my own heart, I do carry a toolbox in most of my vehicles as well. You never know when you're gonna need it. Never know when you're gonna need some, uh, let's see, coolant tape, maybe uh, a couple couple screwdrivers, the obligatory 10 millimeter, but no ratchet to turn it with. Got a blue Hellcat here in front of us. And what else? What else do we got, guys? Well, I, I think we're officially getting warm out here. I don't know about you guys. I'm a little warm. What else can we see today? Really hoping that the... Uh, what, uh, what is this? So this is a Jeep Gladiator. Looks like they've done some mods to it already. Because that's the first thing you do when you get a new car is you start modding it. No shortage of lighting there. Four, four doors. Uh, Ray suspension. Very, very long. I mean, these, I've seen a lot of pictures of these, but these seem to be longer in person. And then, uh, looks like a gas tank. A couple of gas tanks. All right, here's that. I don't know what is, I don't even know what this is. Just look. So this guy uh, drove by earlier and did a little rev and something shot out of his exhaust stack. Not sure what exactly it was, but uh, be interesting to see if it was something important. S63 AMG. <laughs> the 
believe those are speakers. And then look at that interior. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a, hey, you know who has one of these? All right, guys, I'm going to uh, make one more uh, one more walkabout. One more walkabout for y'all. Ooh, wow, this Corvette is super clean. Oh, and what is this? Carmen Ghia? That paint is just, I don't think I've ever seen that color before, ever, anywhere. Oh, wow. Well, this is a car with some history. And uh, I love this uh, picnic basket thing going on here in the front. That is so cute. It's a nice color too, isn't it? Yeah. And let's look at this interior. Mm, okay, so I, this might be an original interior. Very, uh, it smells original. Gotta love them olfactory senses. I'm gonna take a look back here. All right, guys, I lost my gimbal again for a second, but it'll come back. So that M5 that just drove by, I believe was the green one that uh, was mentioned earlier by someone in this broadcast. So I'm gonna go follow it and see where it ends up. If that is potentially a one of two, hey, slow down there, dude. That's definitely something I wanna see. Is this the one and two? Uh, yeah. So we're gonna get a low shot here. Oh yeah. So artistic today. Man, I love that. And then here's a good looking M3 right behind it. That's a two for one right there. Thank you, Rich Wine, for that heads up. Very good, hey Rich, what is the name of that color? If you don't mind me asking you. Java Green. Java Green? Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. No uh, so, hey, somebody beat you to it, buddy. You snooze, you lose. It's Java Green. It's a one of two. Uh, from what I've heard so far, uh, that green monster needs a photo shoot. I would concur with you, Mr. Vaughn. Right, well, check out this diffuser down here. That's going to be carbon fiber in no time, I'm sure. But uh, M5 comp. That was very loud. 
And then oh, here's another good looking 911 from Motive Car Club. Suzanne, you need a Lamborghini? I will find you a Lamborghini. It's GT4 though. These lightweight carbon fiber seats to the wing from Motive. So I will be able to find a Lambo around here somewhere. I've seen multiple, multiple hurricanes Hurricanes? Huracans. Never been in a hurricane. Um, seen a couple of Gallardos today. Saw the Aventador. And, uh, okay, so that guy is like smoking oil visibly. He's not going to pass emissions. Oh, it's a road. And uh, we've literally got a traffic jam here. You're good. And I'm just going to walk straight down traffic. Good looking Shelby here. This, this motorcycle seems to be following me, which is the reason I'm not talking, is because I know the mic will bottom out or peek out. It'll something out and not work correctly. But uh, we're gonna go see a couple Lamborghinis. And then we're gonna see what's left here at Cars and Coffee. Looking at an M4 convertible. Very nice. Yeah. All right, Suzanne, this is for you and your son. I'll be right there. Uh, by request, you guys get exactly what you want. Suzanne, I'm glad you decided to take advantage of the uh, the live interactive part of the broadcast. I've been trying to ask people to tell me what to do here, but you finally did it. So we're looking at this beautiful, beautiful Lambo. You're welcome. Plate says Gotham. All right, so I was just told there is a white Datsun that I need to check out. He's been great. What's up, man? I'm Carson Coffee Dave, how you doing? I'm Cameron Jane, I'm good, how are you? Is this yours? This is mine. How long you had it? Since uh, 2010. 2010? Yeah. Coming up on a decade. Exactly, yeah. Um, you you uh, do all your own work on it? I've done all my own work. Um, I've had some help along the way. I've, this has been my learner car. So I started Bone Stock. I had a good friend, uh, Daniel Bradley, who 
basically he was a, he's a drag racer, so he had all the smarts. I knew what I wanted to do, so but he was kind of the brains, and I was there every step of the way. And now you know I'm building the engines, pulling the heads off, doing stuff myself. So it, it kind of just turns into that over yeah. time. You start with oil changes, and then you'll change your water pump, exactly. and then you'll take you'll pop the valve covers off yes. and look in there uh -huh. and. Before you know it, you're pulling cams out. Exactly. I didn't even know how to pull an alternator until I got it. the engine. I'm like, wow, that wasn't so bad. But yeah, no, it's really not. You know, well, it's a lot of playing Tetris to get there in the first place exactly. and making room. And, and then after that, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, you do a lot of, you do your own maintenance and everything too? Or? As much as I can, yeah. Well, you're, you, got a, you literally have a wrench in your <laughs> yeah. hand and you've got an air hose right there. Yeah, so. I'm playing around today. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, this, this Bridgestone mobile tire changing van is a great tool. Uh, not only for this, but if you're out on the road and happen to break down somewhere, uh, if that did happen to happen, where would people turn to? Uh, well, we don't necessarily do breakdown, mm -hmm. but if you'd like to well, schedule, uh, this was scheduled ahead of time. Yeah, uh, okay, so you can schedule your tire change, you guys mm -hmm. come out and basically offer a full service tire yeah, change. It's the exact same as going to a Firestone store, it's the exact same price. Uh, you can schedule an appointment via the phone number that's plastered on the side of the van or at bridgestonevan.com. Bridgestonevan.com, yeah. and I will give them a peek at that number here momentarily. Oh, there it is. It's a giant business card. 615 307 6120. Well, Cameron, uh, any plans for this next? So, um, I'm about to do a full rebuild. Um, I'm going to do forks, pistons, uh, cams, literally everything. Yeah. Um, so, not going for crazy power, although it's, it already is crazy power in this little car. Yeah. I'd say we're going to sit around 500 horsepower to the wheels. Um, which is scary fast in this thing. Yeah, I'm building it to go zero to 100 uh, with no airbags. There's no point. <laughs> in I'm already gambling. So RB like yeah, the RB25. Man, there's, there's no engine that sounds like it. I think it's I think it's perfect for this car. I, I couldn't be happier with it. Um, awesome. Well, your interior looks pretty nice too, man. Is this original or is that? Uh, I had a, I lucked out. A guy at a car show. Yeah, go ahead. Look me up. Got a different car show. Gave me a set of old seats, and I ended up having them reupholstered by Stevens Brothers Upholstery. And man, they did an amazing job. So I had them beef up the side bolsters so they hold me in a little better. Yeah. Um, just they did flawless. I, I can't say enough good things about these guys. That is awesome. So we've got basically an RB25 Resto modded. Uh, this was a two two forty two forty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm bad with my 240, 260, 280 differentiation. So yeah, <laughs> no, there, there's very tiny differences, but yeah, they're, but, yeah, but they're, they're there. The gorgeous car. Right. I, mean, I can start her up if, if you want. Yeah, man, if you want to start it up and give uh, the people a listen, we can, we can try. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna hear this uh, modified 240 here. turbo action up front almost well that's awesome thank you very much Cameron Pre appreciate you man thank you very much and then uh, Suzanne you and your son are gonna get a bonus here uh, we saw this orange hurricane earlier but we're back at it taking a quick look so that's two on the Lambo request list. Yes, it is. Cool. Well, guys, it is very hot out. I am fairly sweaty and out of water. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you all very much for being here and watching the AAA live stream today. Follow Nashville Cars and Coffee on our Facebook. Follow us on our Instagram. Cars and Coffee Dave can be found on Instagram and Facebook as well. And we will catch you all at the next event. 
uh, first Saturday of September. For Nashville Cars and Coffee, I'm Cars and Coffee Dave, signing off. Catch you next time.